Hello and welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer and today we're reviewing the Jabra Evolve 240 wired headset. Now I actually have already recorded a comparison between this and the previous version, but in case you just wanted the lowdown on this new version of the Jabra Evolve 40 headset, I thought I'd do a standalone video as well. So as I've already mentioned, this is an update of the Evolve 40 headset by Jabra. That was a really interesting headset and was very well made and very well used and was at the budget end of the spectrum. This is definitely not. At over £100 for this team certified version, it is absolutely in the premium segment when it comes to headsets. Now the good thing is that as much as Jabra have put the price up, they have seriously upped the game of this headset as well. We have very plush ear cups that provide fantastic noise isolation when you're wearing them. You've got a fantastic noise cancelling um, microphone that provides very good audio quality. Now I'm not sure if it's actually noise cancelling in the traditional sense of using the microphone to block out uh, background noise because obviously you only have the single mic. However, I think what they're talking about is that they've really focused the microphone to um, only pick up your voice and nothing else. And I have to say, when I'm in conference calls, it really works. We had some really hot weather last week, so I had a portable air conditioning unit running in the, um, in the room I was in, and people could not hear that AC unit, despite it being very old and very loud. They could just hear my voice. No one complained about any background noise. So I must say the noise cancellation technology that they are using clearly does work. In addition, this is a seriously premium looking headset as well. The materials are just fantastic. From those wonderfully plush ear cups that I've already mentioned to the really nice soft touch plastics they've used, as well as the lovely gel air cushioned um, headband that they've used as well. In addition, it must be said that this headset is only available with either a USB-A connector or a USB-C connector. This USB-A connector can only be used with a laptop or PC, or indeed a Mac. The point being that you can't plug this into your phone. There is a USB-C version as well, which is available at the same price. However, I'm not 100% certain whether that will work plugged into your phone either. So do be aware if you currently use a headset through a 3.5 millimeter cable on your phone or tablet, this may well not be able to do that. There are some other great features about this headset. First off, you have a set of busy lights which are located on the sides of the ear cups on the front and the back, which will show people when you're on a call and therefore busy. Equally, there's a handy little light on the USB-A cable which lights up when you're on mute, giving you a physical sort of reinforcement that you are indeed on mute and can't be heard. It has to be said the previous version of these headphones did have a little controller that had a mute switch on it, volume rocker, and a sort of busy light um, setting. However, they've done away with that and instead have actually put the controls on the right hand ear cup. You have the volume rocker, you have a uh, button to answer calls. It works very much the same um, as that control panel did on other headsets and the previous version. However, I do actually find it a little bit more fiddly. Because this is the Microsoft Teams certified version of this headset, there is also a Microsoft Teams button on the right hand ear cup. If you press that in, you'll actually bring up your Teams notifications, which can be very handy if you're using Microsoft Teams. The non um, Teams certified version is just the UC, so Unified Comms version, and will work perfectly well. Though it must be said, the, the Microsoft Teams version will work with all your other conferencing apps, such as Zoom or WebEx as well, without any issues. It's just simply that that button is wired to that um, function. One thing that Jabra has said with this headset is that they're going to be providing software updates in the future, which is great. It's nice to see that you're actually probably gonna be able to improve things like sound quality. And equally, it is just so premium looking that it looks a lot more professional than some of the other versions that had a lot of red accents on them as well. If I just put the headset on, the first thing that I personally notice is that the microphone boom is on the right hand side. It's fixed there, you can't have it on the left so that it will stop um, at this point and you can't move it back any further. That must be said, if you do flick the microphone boom 
all the way up, you will actually mute the headphones as well and that light will come on. The fit is great, they feel really good. They don't clamp on your head too hard, so they're very comfortable for long-term wear. And in addition, the noise isolating ear cups are incredibly comfortable and really reduce background noise for the wearer as well. I think that's really important because if you're on conference calls quite often, especially if you're in an office environment, you're gonna have a lot of background noise. So being able to focus on that call is very good. The volume level of the headset is very good too, and you can hear everyone that calls you very clearly. As I've mentioned, the microphone quality is great. Um, I have a little microphone uh, test at the end of the video just to give you an idea of what it sounds like, but generally I'm very happy with it. The headset, if I just take them off for a moment, also comes with this rather nice neoprene carry case. It's a good way of keeping them safe when you throw them into your bag, though they are fairly bulky, so it is worth bearing in mind that they're gonna take up a bit of space. Equally, um, one of the things I did notice was that you can't actually fold them any way other than outwards, so they don't fold flat either. So if you did want to try and make them a bit smaller, you can't. Generally speaking though, I think that this headset, even at over 100 pounds or around 120 US dollars, does um, actually represent good value for money because of how many features that Jabra's packed in. It is worth noting that Jabra has actually updated the entire Evolve lineup to Evolve 2. So if you're looking for a wireless headset, they do those as well. And they're probably similar in terms of fit, finish and quality. So just bear that in mind. So without further ado, let's quickly hop on to the audio test. So I just wanted to give you an idea of what the audio is like on the Jabra Evolve 240 wide headset. As you can tell, the audio quality is not bad at all. There is a fair amount of um, digital trickery going along um, just to ensure that you have the sort of best um, output possible. But overall, I think that the uh, sound quality is very well controlled. Um, your voice sounds quite clear. Equally, um, the actual output of the highs and lows is well controlled. So your voice isn't boomy or too high pitched. And I think overall, the, the sound quality of this headset is very good. There are obviously um, some issues in terms of recording direct audio uh, into your uh, computer. I would have liked to have been able to connect this via an aux cable um, into my usual sound recorder, which just to give you a more clean audio file. But overall, I think this does give you an impression of what the sound quality is like, and hopefully you found that useful. Right, so now you've had a chance to hear what they sound like. I think they sound pretty good. Um, equally, you've now pretty much reached the end of the review. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions about this headset, pop them in the comments below. If you want to check out a comparison to the uh, Jabra Evolve 40s that I mentioned at the start, you can find a little button to that at the top now. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And I hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.